Right now, I don't think we are completely out of the way when it comes to the share price, but it doesn't make any, it's not relevant, all right, because this price action, you know, this price action moving between 20 and $30 a share has nothing to do with the reality. Actually, I think it's one of the last attempts of short sellers to actually try to shake as much investors and holders as possible before they can let it run because... I mean, next year is not going to be as easy. Next year is going to be a dangerous year if they continue to hold this stock. And even if it goes back to 20, 19, 15, even if it goes back to a cent, even if it goes back to a cent a share, all right, a cent a share, they are still not winning and they will still lose and the short squeeze will still be intact. Why? Because... AMC, it's doing way better than it was last year. AMC is financially stronger than the entire history of the company. And by doing so, they will actually, you know, shoot themselves in the foot because they will attract and open the door. They will open the door to so much more people buying the deep here, even considering the current number of apes which i believe it's 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 maybe double triple what it was back in june when we had that shareholder count the second thing is with inflation coming it will cause them a lot more money to continue to sustain those short positions especially after i disclosed we did disclose that they are you know restricting new withdrawal terms for their clients all right so it's going to piss a lot of the clients and literally draw money out of their funds, all right? So if they continue to go and try to push the share price even further down, it's going to cost them even more money. And at some point, either you let it fly, all right? Either you let it fly and you cut your loss or you let it run down and you pay us pretty much the same similar into fees, especially with interest rate rising. Plus, it's a double... It's a double-edged sword, per se. Finally, it's a double-edged sword for the hedges. You let it run even to a cent. People coming, they ride it all the way up to whatever, and it's gonna be, it's gonna vaporize you, per se, like Louis saying, or used to say, all right? If you, if you let it now and you don't cut your loss with inflation coming, man, I mean, they're, they're screwed. Either way, they're screwed. That's why I really wanna encourage people out there owning and uh, 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 holding MC shares to be true and strong to their convictions because i mean it's 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 we, we, it's it's up there it's close even if it takes another 3 months it's close plus long term capital gains do you really think the government is going to let money go away that significant amount of money go away from their pockets? I don't think so. Uncle Sam and, 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 and taxes? They don't let things go that easily. So, um, hey, no financial advice, just my two cents, all right?